Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Johnny LaLever from Signature Resources. How are you today, Johnny? I'm excellent. Thank you. Johnny, this is a multi-generational property that you have in Signature. Is this correct? Yes, it is. And for those of you out there in Investor Intel watching Signature Resources, your last three news releases all say high-grade gold. Is that correct? They sure do. So let's start with your most recent uh, drilling results from Lingman, the Lingman project, please. Well, that's a great place to start because it's really exciting for us, Signature. Um, this property has relied on historical information uh, to get it to where it is today. And uh, of course, being the new guys on this project for, for a little while now, um, everybody was looking to us to produce our own results. And uh, we just finished a 1500 meter drill program. Uh, we tested the west zone, south zone, central zone, and the north zone. And to our, not so much of a surprise, but at least to the positive side, not only were the results fantastic, but indications are is they're better than what the historic results uh, had indicated. So we're excited. So speaking of excited, for those of you out there from the cannabis market looking to redirect your capital into a resource company, uh, as a junior, you have a substantial amount of claims, and uh, I read nearly 10,000 hectares. Is that correct? So actually, we're sitting over 22,000 hectares, and it is a very, very large land package covering, for the most part, the whole Greenstone Belt that, uh, that uh, encompasses the Lingman Lake area. So would you mind dumbing that down for some of us at Investor Intel who may not have a multi-generational resource background like you do, Johnny? So in simpleton terms, um, a greenstone belt is uh, uh, part of a geological formation that uh, typically gold is found within. Um, this particular belt is about 25, 27 kilometers long and uh, it trends east-west with a uh, bit of a horizon curve to it uh, as it's trending. And uh, we found that there was some mineral occurrences to the far west, about 22 kilometers away from the actual Lingman Lake uh, mine site. So what we did is we chose to cover that, particularly with computer staking now, and uh, we covered that. Um, protected ourselves, protected uh, the asset for our shareholders and future opportunities. And uh, it's, it's exciting because an airborne geophysical program uh, had been completed on the property and indications are two major horizons uh, trending across the whole uh, Greenstone Belt um, with nothing but A, priori prioritized targets for us. Uh, there wasn't any Bs identified or Cs identified. So this is a great upside potential for exploration for our company. Speaking of the Greenstone Belt, you have two other projects in addition to the Lingman project. Is that correct? So the, the optics of it is there's, two there's three components to the project. We have our focus uh, at the mine site, uh, where there's 234,000 historical ounces uh, indicated in the ground from, dr from previous drilling. Um, our focus will be over the next 24 months to increase that ounce count by drilling. Just focused on drilling, drilling, drilling. Then we have the, the two other uh, components to it, the uh, east and the west of the mine, mine site area. And we refer to it as the... Um, as the, uh, what you just referred to. Uh, and it, it's exciting because that's the, what we refer to, people talk about the blue sky opportunity. Uh, we're gonna put some boots on the ground in the summer and do some exploration. And uh, we're fortunate up there, there's a lot of bedrock exposure following in these trends. And uh, uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to some really exciting uh, opportunities in those areas. So Johnny, just to make sure that I understand properly, the Lingman Gold property has four freehold patented claims and 50 staked claims. Is that correct? And what's our resource estimate at this time? So historically, the four original patents where the mine site is, is uh, where our focus is going to be, including on, on the claims that are surrounding that property. And uh, 
with the high-grade gold that, that the historic has indicated and with our results that we've gotten with the high-grade uh, uh, drill intercepts, we're just going to uh, drill the heck out of this and we're going to build our ounces, uh, build our ounce count and uh, within the next 24 months I'm sure, uh, if we're lucky, uh, we'll be able to uh, hopefully get up into that million ounce uh, area and of course I am a dreamer so uh, we're going to continue that dream and hopefully uh, uh, get there sooner than later. Well, Johnny, I am privy to some of your background, which may or may not be online, and we know historically you are deemed to be a treasure hunter. So can I ask you why this particular property? Because, you know, I, I think you were semi-retired when you came back into the industry and found this property or put it all together. Can you tell us why this property is so intriguing to you, please? Well, I was retired. <laughs> and uh, coming back into, uh, into this world, when I did was probably one of the nuttiest things I ever did, uh, especially with the markets uh, heading in the direction that they were going. But uh, Walter Hanich uh, and I were introduced to this property back in uh, 2003, and uh, he always prodded me, you know, let's, let's look at this, let's look at this, let's look at this. And uh, the opportunity came around, as I think we probably talked about once in the past. Right place, right time, enough money and put it together and uh, this is my focus 100% and uh, we're going to turn this into something big and we have a great shareholder base that uh, are excited about our project. Well Johnny, thank you so much for joining us again today. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much.